Welcome to another edition of the Miami-Dade Police Department's Week and Review. We're just over a week away from the start of the new school year, and like students, parents, and teachers, Miami-Dade School Crossing Guards are also preparing. The School Crossing Guard Program, a component of MDPD's Public Information and Education Bureau, is dedicated to providing safe bicycle and pedestrian routes to and from school for children. MDPD currently has vacancies for school crossing guards. If you're interested in applying for one of these part-time positions, visit miamiday.gov before the August 16th deadline. On Thursday, detectives from a homicide bureau joined the family of Shavis Reed in a plea to the public for information to help find the people responsible for Reed's killing. Shavis Reed was shot and killed on April 27th in the area of Northwest 92nd Street and Northwest 27th Avenue. Anyone with information is urged to contact Miami-Dade Crime Stop at 305-471-TIPS. Three times this week, food, friendliness, dining, and dialogue were in focus at informal community events across Miami-Dade as rookies who recently graduated from the police academy were introduced to some of the people they'll be serving and protecting. On Tuesday, it was Cookies with Rookies hosted by MDPD's Hammocks District at Panera Bread on Southwest 88th Street. We are having or introducing 11 new officers assigned to the district that are going to be coming out uh, to the community serving and protecting our residents and business owners. Wednesday, it was Coffee with a Cop where the new officers who've been assigned to the Kendall District Station hung out with patrons at McDonald's restaurant on South Dixie Highway. It was fun. It was interesting. We got to talk about many things, including some concerns that some residents had. We look forward to continuing to have more interactions like this. Later that day, Midwest District hosted Cookies with Rookies at a public supermarket on West Flagler Street. Members of our command staff, along with other seasoned officers, were on hand to guide the rookies through these first interactions with the public. We joined the families of two of our officers in welcoming them home after overseas military deployment. Officers Nicolas Infante and Junior Matos landed at Miami International Airport, having completed overseas duties with the United States Air Force. Director Perez summed up our feelings about these officers when he tweeted that he's extremely proud of their service abroad and at home. See you next week!